so you're ready to start servicing EVs in your shop. Cheers to you. A lot of shop owners ask if they'll need a dedicated bay for electric vehicles. While you don't technically need a dedicated bay for working on EVs, many experts recommend one for safety, efficiency, and staying compliant with emerging industry standards. Here's why. EVs contain high voltage systems, often 400 to 800 volts. Having a dedicated EV area helps isolate the vehicle during service and reduces risk to nearby workers or other vehicles. Some EV work requires insulated tools, high voltage gloves, and lockout tagout equipment. Keeping all of it in one place near a designated bay streamlines operations. Large EV batteries are removed from underneath and require special lifts or scissor tables. A clear, unobstructed space makes this much easier. While rare, thermal runaway events can happen. A designated EV bay can be located closer to exits or equipped with fire suppression systems tailored to lithium ion fires. Some automakers and dealer networks require separate EV work areas for warranty compliance or training certification. Keeping EV work in a defined space helps reinforce standard operating procedures and limits accidental exposure by untrained staff. If you're only doing light EV work like tire service, brakes, or cabin air filters, a general bay may suffice. But anything involving the battery, high voltage wiring, or drivetrain, you'll want a dedicated bay. It's generally okay to work on an internal combustion engine or ICE vehicle in the EV bay, but only if you're not actively working on an EV at the same time and the bay isn't set up with restrictions for high voltage safety or OEM compliance. Here's when it's usually fine. You're tight on space and need to rotate bays for general mechanical work. The EV bay isn't equipped with specialized containment or safety zones, for example, fencing, fire suppression systems, or lockout tagout signage that would interfere with regular ICE service you're not violating OEM or certification guidelines that require the bay to remain dedicated to EV service. Here's when you should avoid it. Your shop's safety protocols designate that bay as EV only. The area stores high voltage PPE, tools, or has signage indicating restricted access. If EV battery or high voltage service is underway nearby, cross-contamination or safety risks could arise. Insurance or code requirements call for EV isolation. Here's the bottom line. If the EV bay is clear and not actively being used for high voltage work, an ICE vehicle can usually be serviced there temporarily, but treat it as a controlled, clean zone and be ready to reconfigure quickly. I'm Eric Garba, coming to you from the Benpack EV Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.